Hello, and welcome to TMC's Quick Tip Demo Series for Dynamics 365 Business Central, where we explore the features of Business Central for basic tasks within your organization. If you need help with a specific quick tip, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make it happen. Today, we're going to be going over how to personalize Business Central. In this video, you'll find out how your Business Central system can easily be set up to your preferences. My name is John Hoyt, Solutions Specialist for Technology Management Concepts. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to cover how to use the search function to find nearly anything in BC, how to add your favorite pages to the home page, how to personalize the lists in BC, and finally, how to create and save filters for those lists for easy access. Let's see how this works. I'll bring up my Business Central system. And the first place we're going to start is with search. I click on the little looking glass or the magnifier, and that brings up a box where I can enter in a word or a phrase or part of a word and phrase. Business Central will tell me what it can find. One of the things we have to do to build out systems is general ledger setup. So let's see what we can find for that. Business Central now searches through and finds direct link to a task called General Ledger Setup. And I could use that link to navigate directly to that page. In fact, many people use this search function as their primary way to navigate. In addition, in addition to that link to the page, there's also going to be a response for documentation. And a total of 20 articles are found about General Ledger Setup. From Microsoft App Source, there are 23 different options available that all have something to do with general ledger setup. Very powerful search function, great way to navigate through the system. Another great way to navigate through the system is something like the creation of a one-click link to allow you to go directly to a page or task that you use on a regular basis. An example of that might be something like sales orders. If I navigate to the sales module and then to the sales order link, that will take me to the list for sales orders. And over on the right-hand side, there's a little bookmark symbol. If I click that bookmark symbol, that will add this page to my home page, to my role center. And now I, anytime I go back to the home page, that link will be available for me. And I don't have to do the navigation through the drop-downs or use the search function. I've got a one-click link to take me directly to those sales orders. Now, I want to make some changes to my sales order list. Right now, I've got about a dozen or so columns being exposed to me, and I can change which columns I have visible. I can do that by navigating to the gear symbol and selecting Personalize. That will allow me to now add or hide any of the fields that are out here in my view. Maybe I don't want ship to code visible, so I can say it's time to hide that. And maybe I want to add in the contact name in addition to the customer name, and I can just drag that field out onto my fields and add that and click Done when I have all my changes made. If you want to undo your changes, you can just click Clear Personalization, and it'll go back to Stop. So now I have my list of sales orders, and I have all the columns visible that I wanted to have visible. What I want to do now is create a filter view because I only want to look at maybe one customer at a time. So I click the filter and then add in one of the values that I want to filter with. And I'm going to do that with my sell to customer number. And I want to set that equal to 40,000. Now I get a filtered view, and all the sales orders relate just to that one customer. I can save that by calling that the 40,000 view. And now that will be saved for me and available anytime I come back to my list of sales orders, in addition to any other favorites I might have set, or of course the view all open, the all option.
So in this quick tip video, we used search to find anything inside the Business Central system. We personalized the role center by adding a one-click link to the sales order page. We changed the columns visible on that sales order list and created a new saved favorite list for easy navigation and access in the future. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your comments, and if you need immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website, abouttmc.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and follow our social media accounts. They're in the description down below.